Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another reaction video. If you are new here, hi, my name's Camilla. I do reactions and vlogs on my channel. Today, by request, I'm going to be doing some Bert Kreischer. Um, before we get started, I have to tell you a story about him and I just have to tell this story and I don't even know if you guys are going to believe me because it's so insane, but uh, <laughs> this had to have been like four years ago, maybe three years ago. It has been at least three years, maybe it was four years ago. I saw Burt Kreischer perform. I used to go to the goddamn comedy jam uh, all the time with my husband when we lived in California. And Burt Kreischer was a regular at the goddamn comedy jam. And literally I saw, <laughs> I saw him sing and the whole band sing with nothing but socks on but not on their feet y'all literally they the whole goddamn comedy jam band and Burt Kreischer he was the singer in the song uh let me just start over <laughs> if you have never been to the goddamn comedy jam it is where a bunch of comedians get together for the night and they do a like a set where they will do their comedy set and then right afterwards they will sing a song like they'll do a cover song with the band so it's it's comedy and then it's them doing a cover and there's all kinds of different comedians that go to it uh bill burr i've seen him perform dozens of times because he was a regular there he would practice his material there um burt kreischer i saw um what's the guy that dated Kim Kardashian, Pete Davidson years ago before he was like even on SNL. So many am amazing comedians were going to this place because they were practicing their material bef before they got like a special, right? And or went on tour and Burt Kreischer did his material and then he got back on stage wearing nothing but one sock on his private area and saying chili peppers give it away and the entire band was also wearing nothing but a sock on their private area i'm not making this up this is literally <laughs> this literally happened i i couldn't believe my eyes and i used to have a photo of this performance of him and the whole band in socks on my instagram and then instagram took it down because for nudity so that happened uh, <laughs> it's a really good memory and it's like hard to believe and like I tried to find like video footage of it on YouTube but like I think it like also got taken down because it was literally like you could see you could see the beginnings of the privates there was a violin player I think he still plays for the go goddamn comedy jam band and literally his whole thing was about to be out like I saw most of it <laughs> it I mean it's not like Burt Kreischer is constantly without a shirt but like the dude was without pants he was just in a socks so I just had to tell you guys this story before we get into this reaction which we're going to be watching Burt Kreischer's The Machine it's 13 minutes it's actually four almost 14 minutes long so it should be good um, grab a drink, grab a snack, let's hang out and watch some Burt Kreischer. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. But without further ado, let's watch Burt Kreischer, The Machine. When I was 22, I got involved with the Russian Mafia. Here's how it happened. I went to school at Florida State. I was not a very good student. Florida! I was there, uh, like seven years. I was there in most of the 90s. Oh my gosh. I, I was in college longer than grunge music was around. <laughs> so, this is how bad of a student I was. One time, I signed up for a Russian class thinking it was Spanish, and it took three classes before I realized, I don't think this is Spanish. <laughs> So I got it to leave the teacher who was hot. He definitely worked out. I'm kidding. I don't know. It was a girl. It was a girl. And she was hot. She still is hot. 
she stopped me. She goes, don't go anywhere. I need 14 kids to teach this class. You're the 14th. I need to teach this class in order to get my master's. So if you sit back down, you don't have to do anything all semester, and I'll just give you a C. I was like, uh, Strasbourgia, bitches. I'm back. <laughs> so I took Russian one, two, three, and four. Never learned a word. Think about what I'm saying. I took two years of a language. Took four semesters of my college career. Four, four semesters. Russian four was taught in Russian. Do you have any idea what it's like to go to a class and sit there like an immigrant at the DMV all day? Like... <laughs> The end of Russian 4, same teacher pulls me aside. She's like, we're taking a trip to Russia. If you go, you'll get a minor. I was like, okay, hold on. <laughs> you know, I can't really speak, read, write, or understand the language, right? She's like, I'm fucking well aware of that. <laughs> you got to remember, I was taking tests in a language with which I was unfamiliar with their alphabet. Do you have any idea what it's like to take a test and make up hieroglyphics? <laughs> and the answer is star circle hashtag shoe. She goes, it doesn't matter. We need kids to make this trip happen. And if you go with all the classes you've taken and the ones you will take, dude, you will get a minor. And I was like, oh, that's all you had to say. Let's go to Russia and fuck some minors. It's a different, it was different, minor, obviously. Learned that the hard way. So we went to Russia in 1995. This is when the mob ran everything, and they told us that our very first night. They sat the whole class down, they're like, listen, we have paid off the mafia to keep you safe. In exchange for our money, they give us two young gangsters. I'm in the room like, this trip just got fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the word for gangster in Russian is banditi. They go, these banditi are going to live with us. They're going to walk you to class. They're going to walk you back from class. They're going to take you on field trips, walk you back from field trips. Do not speak to them. Oh, my They're goodness. in the mafia. Do not look at them. Do not engage them. Do not interact with them. I was like, well, they're going to be my best fucking friends. <laughs> so the first night, I grab a bottle of vodka and a six-pack of Baltica, which is our local beer, and I plan a sentence. I was going to say, Strasvutsia. Does anyone speak Russian in here? I love that someone says no. No. I did a head count earlier. It doesn't look like it. I'll tell you what the sentence says. It's a badass sentence. I worked all day on it. Hello, my name is Bert. It's very nice to meet you. I work... Pussy. <laughs> kind of. It really means I work with cats. I didn't know the fucking language. What do you expect? Uh, it doesn't matter because the second the door opens and I'm face to face with a real Russian gangster with the wife beater and the tattoos with the track pants and the cigarette. And he, he just stares me up and down. A frat boy from Florida State. I was wearing a fanny pack. Oh my gosh. He just looks at me and goes, stole. I fucking panicked. And everything I had planned on saying flooded out of my head. And all I said to him in Russian in his doorway was, I am the machine. <laughs> and he started laughing. He goes, what did you say? I was like, I'm the machine. He grabs me and he goes, come in and tell my friends. Brings me in a room full of nine Russian gangsters drinking and smoking and just goes, stop. Tell them what you said. <laughs> now I'm like, fuck it. I'm the machine. <laughs> <laughs> they looked at each other, looked at me, and they're like, fuck it, here's the machine! And I became the machine, and these guys loved me. Yes. The, you gotta realize, though, the reason they loved me is I went shot for shot with them that night, all night long, until like four in the morning. But all I knew how to say in their language was, I'm the machine! And I fuck cats. <laughs> <laughs> so we did everything together we uh, like the guy that answered the door his name was Igor he was like my best friend we did everything together we ran a pool hall scam we stole a boat it was literally the best summer of my life 
And then one day, the whole class is taking a trip to Moscow. It's an overnight train trip. And I say to Igor, I go, this is going to be a blast. we got to be in the same cabin. And he goes, I can't go. I said, why not? And he goes, different mafia runs train, different mafia runs Moscow. I said, well, hold on. What's that mean for me? And he goes, don't worry. I set up banditi. I tell them about you. They'll take care of you. Sure enough, we get to the train station, and he introduces me to my two new gangsters, Igor and Igor. <laughs> and he says to me, he goes, guys, this is the machine. If you give the machine vodka, you'll have a great time. <laughs> the big ear of the two Igors looks like a kid on Christmas. He's like, oh, I can't wait to play with a machine. <laughs> he grabs me, and he goes, the machine doesn't sit in coach. The machine sits in first class with us. I'm like, that's what I'm fucking talking about. <laughs> We go to first class, and it is pimped out with booze, food, and here's the real gangster part. Second the train takes off out of the station, everyone that works on the train comes in to pay their respects. The conductor walked in. Rips off the stars and stripes to his shirt, places them on my lap, and goes, This is a present for the machine. What? It would be an honor to do a shot of vodka with the machine. <laughs> I'm 22 years old thinking, Huh, these machine stories might have gotten out of control. We drink all the booze in an hour, and Big Igor stands up, and he goes, Machine, we go to the bar court to get more vodka. I'm like, fuck it. I'm in the mob. I'll do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> we roll into the bar cart like a big dick in a locker room. Just, not that I've ever been that guy, but I've seen it. <laughs> Just smack. You know the look where everyone looks like, oh, shit, okay. <laughs> oh, someone's here. Okay, all right. <laughs> Igor looks at me, and in Russian, he says, Machine, go behind the bar and grab bread. In Russian. In Russian. And I understood him. For a second, I'm like, I'm fucking learning. <laughs> I'm learning the language my way. Not through flashcards and textbooks, but by joining the mafia. <laughs> I get behind the bar, I'm like, Igor, I know what you said. He's like, go for your machine. Can the machine find cheese? And I was like, see you, cheese. I got it. Give me another one. And he's like, grab vodka. I was like, I already know that one. Give me another one. He's like, grab the money. I'm like, huh? He goes, grab the fucking money. And I realized at that instant, uh, we're robbing the bar cart. And I'm the one doing it, hooked on phonics style. <laughs> I grab the money, walk out. Two of my classmates see me and they're like, you're in so much trouble. Go back to our first class cabin and within five minutes, the head chaperone of this train trip, not the whole trip, just this train trip. She was an English teacher who did not speak Russian, who hated me before I robbed the train. <laughs> she comes over to our first class cabin and swings the door open with that like liberal arts confidence, just. <laughs> <laughs> this shit is over. You're done. You're done. Stand up right now. You you stand up. Stand how how you're done. Stand up. And Big Igor looks at me confused, then smiles, takes a big sip of vodka, spits it in her eyes, and goes, No one talks to the machine like that. <laughs> Shuts the door in her face and goes, Fuck that bitch, this is Russia. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, machine, when it gets dark, we have good time. I'm like, what the fuck are we doing when it gets dark? Reaches in his pocket, pulls out a ring of keys, and he goes, we're robbing the whole fucking train. I'm a good person. I don't cheat on, I don't cheat on, this is why, I, let me tell you, I don't cheat on my wife. I don't cheat on my wife because one morning, our whole family was in bed, the dogs, the cats, the girls, my wife, and we were just giggling, and it was pure. It was perfect. And I, don't, I thought to myself, I don't ever want to screw this up. This is the most important thing. This is what it's, life's about. And they got up to make cho chocolate chip pancakes, and I laid in bed, and I said, I will never cheat on my wife. I had a conversation with myself. I said, if I ever get into a situation where a hot girl's flirting with me, or I think she's flirting with me, and it seems like it could go further, I'm just going to cock block myself. I'm just going to look her in the face in front of everyone and go, I don't cheat on my wife! Now, I may be wrong. She may not be hitting on me. <laughs> she may throw a drink in my face, slap me. Or I may be right. I, none of that matters to me. What matters to me is that I don't cheat on my wife because I've already had that conversation. Here's the problem. I never had that conversation about robbing trains. 
So when presented the opportunity, I thought I'd be like, not me. I'm going to go back and work on my verbs. But apparently, when presented the opportunity, I'm the guy that's like, fuck it, let's start with my class. So we robbed them first. While they slept, if that makes it better. And then we robbed the whole train. And if there's any consolation, we robbed me too. My bag was with them. And then we drank all night long. All night long. Like literally until 6 in the morning. Top five drunkest I've ever been without throwing up in my entire life. We pull into Moscow at 6 a.m. I'm pissed drunk. You ever been so drunk you're like, I know I got a piss, but I can't find my dick. <laughs> Train stops. <laughs> what? Sun's up. I'm hammered. Door opens. Same teacher. Not mad. Curious, right? Huh? She looks me in the eyes, oh, no. smiling, and goes, I want to be the one to tell you they've alerted the police. And I look out, and on the platform, my whole class is standing there with a cop, talking. They're upset. They've been robbed. I get it. <laughs> Apparently, they've never heard snitches get stitches. <laughs> Big Igor sees this, and it's completely unfazed. He's like, don't worry. I talked to police for both of us. I was like, oh, thank God. He cracks a bottle of vodka. I'm like, well, I wouldn't bring that out to an officer, maybe. Lights a cigarette, walks out to the cop, who's taking a statement. The cop is taking a statement. Igor walks up behind him, grabs him by the arm, spins him around, and goes, fuck you! We fuck you in the mouth! We fuck you in the ass! We... I'm like, stop with the fucking we shit! Now the cop is just staring at me, and I hear him bark out, Pardon, sit down, good day, which I don't even know what that means, but it doesn't sound like, you're okay, stay there. <laughs> it is a come-to-Jesus moment where you know you fucked up. All I thought as I walked to the cop, who's standing in front of the class, I just robbed. Next to the gangster, I robbed them with, my only thought was, this isn't how I plan on spending my second junior year. <laughs> And the gulag taking hot dicks to the throat. I get five steps from the cop who looks impatient as shit. He takes two big ass steps, grabs me by the arm, spins me away from my class, away from Igor, pulls me right into his face, and he goes, So, I understand you're the machine. <laughs> nice. Tonight, you party with us. I was like, what? He's like, tonight you party with us, yes? And I looked at him and I was like, wait, I'm not in trouble? And he gets so close to me, I can smell his morning cigarette. And he goes, no. Fuck that bitch, this is Russia. <laughs> that was good, that was really good. I don't know, if, I don't think I remember him doing this bit before. Also, I always wonder with these comedians if, like, the story is, like, true or not, or if they just, you know, you know what I'm saying, you know, fabricate it to make it even funnier, but it's a pretty good story. I didn't know he was from Florida. I had no idea. Obviously, when I saw him play, he was living in L.A., so I said play like he's a musician. <laughs> Obviously, when I saw him perform, it was in L.A. because he was living in L.A., you know, so... Yeah, it was pretty good though, pretty funny, iconic, always without the shirt. <laughs> All right guys, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching this with me. Please consider subscribing if you're not already and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.